Hi, this is Frostworks. Um, I want to clear a little things up with about Optiplexes, like an Optiplex 330 and upper below 330, I guess. People are saying that you cannot overclock on the stock motherboard. Well, I got a stock motherboard, so Optiplex 755, you download set FSB more versions than just that one and CPU-Z just the like right here shows where you're at so what you do is click up twice first there's a little chip actually I should tell you about that but anyway, more than likely, that's your chip number for a 755. It's right above your PC IE slot. If you have a graphics card, it's right above it. And it's honestly probably from there to there that big. And there'll be a number on it. So we want to do you can keep going up until your computer freezes to see what your limits at but I'm going to do a safe overclock since this is just for the kids for a little bit more performance click that up couple set now this is reaching almost 7 20 2.7 gigahertz almost is what it's reaching. Go back. Set FSB. It's over 7. See the right here? 7. 1, 2. It's got 2 more. Actually, no, I'll go to 90. There we go. This is just for like a stable overclock because kids are going to be playing on this quite a bit. So it'll get pretty warm. I like downloading uh, Core Temp just so you, it's up there when you're. Right now, this thing's air cooled. More than likely, your chip will be that number. So you want to click all through here. This will show you when you find a number and find your matching will be in here. And you click that, you hit get FSB. And this should pop up. Of course, that's what you change. I think mine was 302 was the limit of 308. Well, I figured I'd let you guys show you guys that. Um, yeah, almost any motherboard, maybe not, maybe every motherboard might be able to overclock with it, that chip. It's always possible. Thank you for watching. Frostworks here. Until next time.